Welcome back my dudes. Let's dive into addition and subtraction on number lines. We can use number lines to help us make jumps and hops to find the answer to a problem. Here we have 124 plus 432. Remember, we are going to use super jumps to show sets of 100, regular jumps to show sets of 10, and hops when we get down to the ones. We can start here at 124. The number 432 has four hundreds in it, so we need to make four super jumps. One jump lands us on 224, two jumps lands on 324, three jumps lands on 424, and our last jump lands on 524. Next, we can look at our tens. We have three in our tens place, so we need to make three more jumps, but this time counting by tens. One jump lands on 534, two jumps is 544, three jumps is 554. Finally, we can look at our ones place. We have two in the ones, so we need to make two tiny hops. One hop lands on 555, two hops lands on 556. 124 plus 432 equals 556. Great work! Let's try another one using subtraction. Let's do 756 minus 241. We can start at 756, but this time I will start on the right side of the number line since 756 is larger than 241. We are going to work our way down in the same way. The number 241 has two hundreds, four tens, and one one. We are going to make two super jumps of 100, four jumps of 10, and one hop of one. Ready? One super jump lands on 656, two super jump lands on 556. Now for our regular jumps. One, two, three, four. We landed on 516. Now, one hop of one and we land on 515. 756 minus 241 equals 515. Here comes Crush with another problem. What's the problem this time Crush? Hey Nitro, I have this weird looking number line with lines above it. Can you help me understand it? For sure. This first line shows the number 37, because it starts at 0 and lands on 37. This line going back the other way shows subtraction. It lands on 12. This number line shows 37 minus 25 equals 12. Oh, that makes much more sense. Thanks for helping me out. Are these dudes ready to practice on their own? They sure are. Have fun out there kids.